Hello everyone, my name is Kishan. So the agenda of this video is first we are going to see how any program runs on our system and the second how Python program runs on our system. The first point. So how program runs on our system. So we all know CPU. It is a central processing unit and it is a brain of our computer. So for example, if you are performing any operation on, our, on your computer, so whatever operations you are performing on your computer, if you take that as an instruction and gives you an output. So if you are performing click operation, if you are performing typing operation, so all those operations are converted into instructions and then CPU perform those operation and give you the desired result. But CPU takes instruction in the form of zeros and ones which is called a machine code. But we never write our code in machine code. For example, if you want to write a hello world program in Python, we never write our code in the form of zeros and ones. So we write our code in human readable form using various tools. One might use text editor or IDE. Then we need to bridge this gap of a human readable code into a machine code. For that, we have a compiler which directly converts your human readable code into machine code. And the second option we have is interpreter. So it converts our human readable code into a byte code and then using a virtual machine it converts that byte code into a machine code. But if we see whether it is a compiler or it is an interpreter. The end goal of these two is to convert your human readable code into a machine code so that CPU can consume that as an instruction and it gives you the, the result that is written in your Python program. So this is the simplest representation that how, by, how any program runs on our system. Then we are going to see how Python program runs on our system. So first we write our code in human readable form. Then we have an interpreter which converts our source code into bytecode. Then what is the bytecode? So the bytecode it is a computer object that runs on a virtual machine and not on the CPU. So the bytecode only run on a virtual machine. So that we need a virtual machine. So we have a virtual machine called CPython virtual machine which converts a byte code into a machine code for platform interoperability but byte code is not a platform specific it means that if you take the byte code of a program from a windows system and we compare that byte code with the linux system then it will be a same so that is the beauty of by byte code it is not a platform specific then it it is converted into machine code so that the CPU can consume that and it gives you the desired output written in your Python code. Thank you.